Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make a funky double fan fold. You want to start by centering your shirt, and I use a washable marker to mark out the center. I fold the two bottoms together, and then I mark out that center. I tuck one sleeve inside the other sleeve, and then line up the seams and smooth it out. This technique is referred to as centering the shirt or the sleeve inside the other sleeve technique because you're bringing the front of the shirt together and the back of the shirt together so when you dye it, you get good symmetry. And now you just want to pleat fold up along this line, making that line as straight as possible. I could feel that there was like a little extra pleat of fabric and I wasn't quite happy with that. I'm quite particular about my folds. This is the foundation for the tie dye, so I try to do this part the best that I can. With ice dyes, it's pretty forgiving, so I probably don't have to be this particular, but I just am, so I'm sorry, bear with me. For this particular project, you can secure it with rubber bands or kite string, whichever you prefer. I decided to go with kite string, and there is absolutely no rhyme or reason why I chose that. It just happened to be right next to me, attached to my pen. Using a washable marker, mark out your pattern. Now this step is not necessary, but it sure does help me stay organized. As you can see from my snafu here, even marking out my pattern can confuse me.
And now that I'm down to the end, I'm just going to start over repeating the pattern. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye. And I wanna point out that I use disposable spoons that I don't dispose of. I just put them in the dishwasher and reuse them. And I also use a different spoon for each container of dye because I don't wanna cross contaminate. I want to take a moment to give a big shout out to Angela Charty. She's in our Facebook groups. She makes really beautiful things. You guys check her out. She had made a post about a month ago or so. Maybe it wasn't even that long, but I saved that post because I admired so much the color combination that she had chose. This is absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to remember so I could come back and try it myself. So head on over to her stuff, check out what she's got, buy some of her things. Since this is an ice dye, I like to add a little extra sprinkle of soda ash for good measure. Even though the shirt has already been soaked in soda ash, we're going to be pushing so much liquid through it via the ice. I just want that little extra safety precaution. Build yourself some type of ice barrier. I got these silicone cake molds off Amazon and I have a link for them down below in the description box along with basically everything else that I use for tie dye. This is the nugget ice, you guys. I love my nugget ice machine. I don't really talk about it very often because not everybody has the opportunity to have one, but if you can get yourself one, out of all the things that I've purchased for tie-dye, I'd say this is probably my favorite purchase. It's been 24 hours since the ice has melted and now it's time for the rinse out. You wanna start by using cold water. That rinses away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then gradually increase your water up to hot. From here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. The reason for this first hot water cycle is because I'm washing many shirts at one time, and so this is going to knock away any of the loose dye that did not react within those shirts. And then I do the second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent, because I'm actually washing the shirts in this cycle. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft to bring softness back into the shirts after the dyeing process. The reason I do that cycle is because I don't like these Gildan shirts, they feel rough and scratchy. So Dharma suggested Milsoft to fix that problem. Then I throw them in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried and I love this shirt I love this color combination 
I've always liked the blues and the browns together. I think it's a nice contrast. Um, I haven't gone this extreme with it before, and I'm going to play around with it a lot more because it just really speaks to me. For some reason, this screams tie-dye. It screams the 70s, or it reminds me of being a little kid. It reminds me of a summer afternoon. I can see a, a flowy bohemian skirt and tie this in a little side knot with some boots and a hat, some daisies and sunflowers. I don't know. It just really evokes a lot of imagination in me. So what do you guys think of this shirt and this color combination? And again, thank you, Angela, for the inspiration because this is like one of my favorites. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up and click the bell for future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.